Okay, so let me read the problem again. I wanted to make sure the session is recorded. So the speed limit on some interstate highways is roughly 100 kilometers per hour. What is the speed meters per second? And B, how many miles per hour is this? So like I said, this is a unit conversion problem. So for uh, part A, We're converting from uh, kilometers per hour to meters per second. So 100 kilometers per hour. And we want to convert this to meters per second. So This is what we're going to do. Uh, kilometers. We have two. We actually have two units in this problem. We need to convert the kilometers to meters, and then we need to convert the hours to seconds. Okay. So we're going to. Multiply first by the conversion factor between, let's say, the kilometers and meters, and then by the conversion factor between hours and seconds. It doesn't really matter the order in which you do the multiplication. So, how many uh, meters make up one kilometer? Is it going to be 10 to the third? 10 to the third of all. Or 1,000? Or 1,000. Okay, and look at how I'm writing the conversion factor. I'm going to write 1,000 meters divided by one kilometer. Okay. Now, does everyone understand why I write it this way? Yeah, because you have to um, you have to cancel out the kilometers you have to so that you can, you can get kilometers. That's correct. Yeah. If I if I had written it the other way with kilometers on top and, and meters below, I would end up with kilometers squared over meters. So I'll just you know uh, mess up the problem instead. Next, the conversion factor between hours and seconds. Okay, how many seconds are there in one hour? A lot. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, so what's the exact number? Oh my God, can I Google it or no? Well, okay, one hour is equal to how many minutes? 60 minutes and there's 60 seconds. Okay, so 60 times 60 is what? Thirty-six hundred, right? Yeah, there we go. Right. Yeah, thirty-six hundred seconds. Okay. And and look at how I write the conversion factor again. One R equals thirty-six hundred seconds because the R's uh, need to cancel out. Okay, so mm -hmm. the kilometers will cancel, and uh, the the R's you know, need to cancel. That way I'm left with meters over seconds, right? Which is what we wanted. So all we need to do now is uh, multiply, uh, multiply the numerator. So 100 times 1,000, that's 100,000. One times, one hour times one kilometer times 3,600 seconds, 3,600. So 100 times divided by 3,600, what is that? Is that gonna be like the 3.6? No. No. You said 100 divided 100, by 3,600. 100,000 divided oh, 100, by 3,600. 
36. That will be... Well, let's say 1,000 divided by 36. If you cancel the two zeros. Yes, that's right. What is the number? 27.7. 27.7. So yeah. So that's 27.7 meters. Okay, you, you, you actually have 27.77 seven yeah okay. meters per second but pay attention to the the uh, number of significant digits in this problem okay so okay. how many significant digits are there in 100 kilometers three okay at most three you, you know why i say at most because we don't know what's on the other side of the decimal yeah, we don't know because when when you have a number that has that uh, ends with zeros, it's ambiguous. It could be that uh, uh, only the one is significant. It could be that all the three zeros are significant. So, so we say at most the three significant uh, digits. So we're going to report this answer to. As it would it be twenty eight point or twenty seven point eight point eight? Yes. Gotcha. That's, Three significant. Uh, okay, so that's how you solve uh, this you know, problem. Now let's go to part B. Part B says, uh, "How many miles per hour is this?" So again, the starting point is what? 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, and uh, we know that there, there is 1.609 kilometers in one mile. So one mile is 1.609 km. Now we, we, we do not need to convert the R because the problem wants the speed in unit of miles per hour. So the only thing that needs to be converted is the kilometers. Okay. So this will be, this will be 62.1 mile uh, now how did you get 62.1 okay so take uh 100 divided by 1.609 oh, gotcha you get 62.1 again three significant digits okay uh, Dr. Natam, what, what page was the questions on? Is it at the end of chapter one or chapter two? The end of chapter one. And where are we starting? Because I don't think I see them. All right, so uh, let me. Let me go. I found it. You found it? Yeah, I found it. Okay, I was going to. Which it. number is it? Uh, we are, I think he's starting at 1.2. It says physical quantities and units. Yes, physical quantities and units. This is the first one? Yeah, at the end of the first chapter, uh -huh. those questions, and they look for 1.2 physical quantities. And, no, it's not the first one. It's uh, number 18 or no? I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. Let me give you the page. So page. Because mine downloaded like differently. Okay, so I'm on page 29. Mm -hmm. Page 29. Problems and exercises 1.2, section 1.2. Okay. Yes, so this. Uh, Are we starting okay. with the first one? We started with the first problem, problem okay. one. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Do, do you see it? Yes. Do you see the problem? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Great. 
Okay, the next uh, conversion problem is okay from meters per second to kilometers per hour. So number two. Can someone read number two? Uh, a car is traveling at a speed of 33 meters per second. Um, part A is what is its speed in kilometers per hour? And part B is, is it exceeding the 90 kilometers per hour speed limit? Okay. So, uh, number two. We want to convert uh, 33 meters per second to kilometers per hour. That's part A. So 33 meters per second. We know that one kilometer is equal to how many meters? One kilometer. Uh, is it going to be a hundred? We just uh, used that factor in the previous problem. Previous yeah, but that was a hundred kilometers. A thousand. Mm -hmm. Kilo means thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so one kilometer is a thousand meters. And the previous one, okay. Weren't we dealing with a hundred kilometers though? So wouldn't that change? No, the previous one, we're converting 100 kilometers per hour to something. Yeah, meters per second. Yes. But still, the conversion factor is one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we know that uh, there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. Right, but we're saying that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters, but the question says that it was a hundred kilometers. So how many? Because even when we put it down, when we converted it, we didn't put that one kilometer over the hour. We put a hundred kilometers. So wouldn't that change it? No, 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 no. We started with hundred kilometers and then we multiplied by the conversion factor, which is one gotcha. kilometer by uh, over 1000 meters. And that's how gotcha. we were able to transform it to meters per second. Okay, I understand. I see that. Okay. Okay. Now we, we're going from meters per second to kilometers per hour. Okay. So, so we will say uh, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, and then 3,600 seconds equals one hour. Again, pay attention to the conversion factors. You must write the conversion factors in a way that the old units cancel out and you're left with the new unit, okay? So we want seconds to cancel out, we want meters to cancel out, and we want to be left with kilometers over hours, right? Mm -hmm. So 33 times 3600 divided by 1000 will give us like 12, one, or oh, let's say 120. Okay. I got 118,800. Say it again. I got 118,800. Okay, divide by, one, divide by 1,000. Is that 118 point eight? Okay, so 118. Yeah, 0.8. 8 kilometers per hour. Now, uh, how many significant figures do we keep? At the most, four? Mm, no. Oh, no. Three. No. It's two. Is it going to be one? Two. Why, why <laughs> do we keep two? <laughs> You said Y2? Yes. Yeah, Y2. Because of the 33 meters? Yes, because uh, if you look at this problem, uh, the, uh, the, the original number, the, the 33, has two significant figures, right? 
So when you mod, when you involve this number in any you know calculations, the answer cannot have more significant numbers than the the measurement you started with. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So we're going to keep this uh, to two significant digits, and since eight is bigger than five, we're going to uh, run it to one and add to this one. So that will be uh, one, that's a 120 kilometers per hour. Now, to, to remove the ambiguity that we talk, talked about, since uh, to emphasize the fact that it's two significant digits, the best way to write this number would be like this, 1.2 times 10 to the two kilometers per hour. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because if you leave it like 120, mm -hmm. another person may interpret it as how many significant digits? Three. Three. Okay. But the fact is you cannot throw away the zero because if you throw the zero away, you've changed the number. You cannot just change it to 12. So the, so the way out is write it in scientific notation in standard form, 1.2 times 10 to the two kilometers per hour. That way, it, uh, anyone reading uh, your answer will know that there are two significant digits. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just to clarify, you said since it's only two significant digits, you move the decimal over to that point and then you round up before the decimal. How did you do that again? Uh, Brittany, I think I'm, I missed what you said. What your question? You missed what I said? Yes. Okay. So, as far as what you did after you got the 118.8 yes. and the two significant figures, did you, okay, all you did was move over the decimal to the point where it's two significant digits? Or did we just get the round up and get the 120? Or how did we get that 120 again? Yeah, how did I get this 120? Uh, only the first two digits are significant. That's the meaning okay. of two significant digits. That means only the one and one are significant, right? Okay. Right. So, so you need to get uh, get rid of the eight. But, okay. okay. But because eight is eight is uh, bigger than five. So uh, we need to run it up to one and then add to the last uh, significant digit, which is one. Okay, so basically it's 11.8 right now. And then you no, take, it, oh, it's 11.88. You, you could write it like 1.18, 1 1.188 uh -huh. 1 times 10 to the power two okay okay mm -hmm. now since uh, only two significant digits uh, only two digits are significant okay only this 1.1 1 .1 is significant so what do you do with the the last digit which is eight you round it up to the you eight. round it to one and add to the one to the other one so you get 1 1.2 times 10 okay. to the two you round that eight kilometers per hour okay now, if it was like 1.11 times 10 to the 2, then the answer will just be 1.1 times 10 to the 2. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, we've reached the li time limit for this session. Uh, it's going to disconnect in a minute, but please uh, log back in. We're going to have like 15 more minutes. Okay. Okay. Problem solving. Okay. 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 Um, is it about to end now? Yes, it's a, it's about to end in a minute. So I'm just going to end it and then uh, restart the meeting. So just click on the link again, the link in your email. 
Okay. And get back into the session. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay.